This is something really remarkable. Behind me are soldiers from the French Republican Guard here on the forecourt of Wellington Barracks in central London. They are training to take part in a changing of the guard ceremony that will happen in just a couple of days time outside Buckingham Palace. Now that's significant because that is the first time ever in history that French troops have taken part in this world famous London ceremony and not only that the Republican Guard were formed in France after France beheaded its own king they are a symbol of the French Republic something Britain is not because we remain a monarchy and yet these troops as a symbol of the Entente Cordiale, the anniversary, the 120th anniversary indeed, of officially friendly relations between Britain and France, these soldiers have been invited to take part in that ceremony. And they will be marching alongside soldiers from Britain's world famous household division. There will be uh, a household division ceremonial band and soldiers from the Scots Guards clad in their traditional tunic uh, coat, sorry, their traditional scarlet tunics and bearskin hats. And something I didn't know until today is that the reason British foot guards, the Irish guards, the Scots guards, uh, the Welsh guards, the Coldstreams, and the Grenadier guards wear those iconic bearskin hats dates to the Battle of Waterloo when the British forces vanquished Napoleon's armies in 1815 and the winning soldiers, the foot guards who fought in that battle, looted these bearskin hats from the slain bodies of Napoleon's Imperial Guard. The French were the first to wear bearskins but it's something we took off them when they were defeated in 1815 and of course the reminders of that battle are all around us. Here, where we're standing, Wellington Barracks, named after the Duke of Wellington, who led British forces in that battle. So at once, reminders of our history, reminders that for many, many centuries, Britain and France have been arch enemies. And yet, for the last 120 years, allies, and as this ceremony appears to show us, growing ever closer. There have been some suggestions that perhaps were Napoleon or the Duke of Wellington uh, alive to see this they might be turning in their graves but they're not this is a sign of the ever closer relationships between the British and French militaries between Britain and France as neighbours <laughs>